So as in the previous video I've copied a project Lab 14 and I've renamed it Lab 17. So in this video I'm going to show you how to incorporate free RTOS into your project. So double click the IOC file and eventually when the hardware pin configuration is shown go to the multimedia and software select free RTOS and enable it I'm using version 1 go to tasks and queues and define some tasks that you want to run as threads so here I'm going to declare a function called flash LED one. And I'm also going to declare another task called flash LED two. During auto code generation, these functions will be automatically created by the IDE. You also need to go to advanced settings and I'm going to make the new library entrant as enabled. So you'll see that following the automatic code generation, CMSYS header file should be included in the main.c file. There will also be some thread definitions. And what you'll notice, there are also some automatic functions that have been declared. and there will be an OS kernel start function. And you'll notice that the, the, um, the names of the functions that we chose or the names of the threads have appeared in the, uh, the, the thread creation uh, functions themselves. And the while loop code that's, that's imported from the previous lab um, we no longer need that because we're going to flash the LEDs from within the threads that we've created. And in fact, this while true loop won't be run. Uh, once the kernel starts, the while loop will never be entered. So if you navigate to the um, to where the functions or the threads are, are, are defined, if you hover over, you can right click and open definition and it will jump to the function declaration. Um, so it's within these declarations where we can enter the code for writing to the GPIO pins to do things like flash LEDs. So here I'm just going to copy in some code that was previously in the, uh, the while loop for flashing the LEDs. And I'm going to go back to the while loop and get rid of all the code just going to delete that from the main loop. Go back to those function declarations and into the second flash LED2 function. I'm just going to flash a separate LED or toggle a GPIO at a separate rate. The start default task, which is um, a default task that FreeRTOS creates uh, or the CMSYS creates. Um, we can use that for various things. We could use that to as, a, as our main, essentially like an idle loop. Um, you can use it for whatever you like, I guess. And then we just compile and run. And that's a very simple free RTOS setup. 